Did you know that you could send payable invoices to your customers or to your clients inside of SureCard and take all the powerful features of SureCard and apply them to payable invoices? Let's take a look at one of those invoices right now and go over how to create them for your business. What you're looking at is a payable invoice and I've applied all of the SureCart special features to this payable invoice. So you'll see that it takes the layout of your store checkout uh, with some key differences. So over here on the left, uh, it's already pre-filled out for the client. So when you're creating the invoice, you can add the address in there and their email and all that information. And it just is pre-filled out for them. So it's super easy for them to pay you. Over here on the right, you see instead of order summary, it's going to say invoice summary because this is an invoice. And there's some interesting information here. We have the invoice number. We have the due date, which you're able to set. And we also have a download link. So your customer can download a PDF version of this payable invoice for their records. Here's the line items that I added. One of them is an hourly fee and there's a quantity of five. The other one is a flat fee for a project. And I'm going to show you how you can put different numbers in there when building out this invoice. We also have the option of adding a discount code. This is a great way to incentivize your customers to pay their invoices sooner. Maybe give them a, a coupon for 48 that lasts for 48 hours to take some amount off. And then we have the total. Now, right here, we're also displaying a memo. So you can add a memo to this invoice that will display on the invoice payment page as well as in that PDF, which I'll click through in a moment. Now, here's one of the SureCart features that we have to generate more revenue for your store. Now you're going to be able to use these to generate more revenue for your invoice based business. And that's with order bumps. I added this order bump offer right here and uh, everything is you see here, all the text strings are fully customizable where the different elements are positioned is customizable. So I specifically put the order bump right here. I specifically added this bit of text here, this memo you could place someplace else if you desire. And all the bits of text are changeable as well. This was saying purchase and I switched the word to pay, which is more appropriate for invoices. Everything is fully customizable inside of this invoice payment form. Now, let me also click right here where it says download for the receipt, just so you can see what that looks like. So it's carrying your logo. It has all the information important to this invoice, the billing address. Here's where that memo is. Here's the line items. And there's also a footer item that you can put inside of these downloadable invoices and all your customer has to do is click this button here on the top and this can be downloaded to their computer for their records. Now you also see this little bit of branding here that says powered by SureCart. Don't worry if you're on one of our paid plans, this does not show. This is just when you're using the free plan. So as you can see, there's so much power in applying the feature set of SureCart to invoices and invoices make sense for a lot of different reasons. Many times if you have a traditional e-commerce store, you might want to give a special quote to someone and this is how you can do it. Or if you have a subscription based business, sometimes you might want to add a one off payment for something. This is how you would do it. Many times there's a need to have this invoicing system built into an existing e-commerce platform or just run with this if your business is built around issuing invoices and getting those paid as well. You can add subscriptions, everything just right here. So now let me show you how to set up one of these invoices. Now, before I create the invoice, I want to make sure that I have the products already created that I'm going to add as line items inside of an invoice. Let me show you the products that I created. So I'm going to hover over here to where it says products. And when you create a product, you have visibility options. So if it's a product that you don't want to sell on your shop page, when people visit your site, you can make it unpublished, but let me show you. So first let's go ahead and take a look at this website 
project product right here. All I did was give it a name. I added a featured image. You can see over here on the right where it says product page, I changed this to draft because this is just the product I'm gonna use for invoicing and I don't want it to show on my shop page. Now, when I scroll down, I set up the pricing as a pay what you want. And that's because I, when I add it as a line item to an invoice, want to enter in what will be paid or what would be charged for this. So this is what those what that looks like. It's set as a pay what you want product and you have to put in a default price. So I just put $100 in. Obviously, a this is gonna be changed once I add it to an invoice. So this is what you wanna do for a product line item that's gonna be added to an invoice where the amount of it, the cost is going to change based upon what you want to do and how you want to set it up. So that is for the website project. Now, the website development, which was that hourly option, it's very simple. I put website development as the name. I also did, chose to not publish this on the front end of my site. And then for pricing, I just added this as a one-time price and I, oops, right here. I just added this as a one-time price and I put the rate in as $125. So when you add this to an invoice, you can set the quantity of this because this is per hour. Now, I also set a special product called SEO Audit and I set this also as a one-time price for $500, and I also chose to not publish this, but this you might want to have published if you want people to just be able to order this on your site on their own. So now that my products are set up, let's quickly take a look at the settings for invoices because that's gonna play a part inside of the process of creating an invoice. So I'm gonna go down here to settings, and then I'm gonna click where it says orders and receipts. So the earlier I mentioned for an invoice, you can add a memo and you can add some text for the footer that would appear not on the checkout form, but inside of the PDF that your customer can download. Well, here's where you can set a default memo and here's where you could set a default footer, or you can just set it inside of the invoice when you're creating it. So if, for the footer, you always want to mention the payment terms, which is pay, uh, this is due upon receipt. Then you can go ahead and add that here, as well as if you wanted to set a default memo. All right, with all of that done, let's go ahead and create an invoice. So I'm gonna click where it says orders, and then this option underneath it is revealed that says invoices. Let's go ahead and click on that. And you have two options here. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can add a new live invoice or when you click on this drop down arrow here, you can create a test invoice. So what I showed you earlier was simply a test invoice and I'll go ahead and create another test invoice. I'll click on the drop down. I'll choose test invoice. And here we are. So the very first thing you'll do is add your products. So I'm going to add a product and let's go ahead and do a search for it. So let's add a flat fee for a website project. So I'm gonna choose the website project product. And this is where I can set the price because it's pay what you want. So there's an icon here you can click on and enter the amount for this website project. I've entered $3,500, I'll click on update and you can see now it's changed to $3,500. But let's say there's also some hourly work that's gonna be included in this invoice. I'll click on add product and I will do a search for it as well. Here it is, website development. I'll click on that and this is going to be by the hour. So right here, you can see there's a quantity selector. So let's say we worked for seven hours. I'll enter seven, I'll click out of that, and you can see the amount just updated to seven times that hourly rate of $125 to get this amount right here. You can remove line items as well very easily. Now you can also add to this subscription products. So I created another 
product called Care Plan. And here it is, website Care Plan. It's $189 per month. And there it is. Now, alternatively, I could have made this a pay what you want as well in the case where I'm going to have different clients paying a different subscription amount. And I want to be able to set that right here on an invoice. And there you have it. That looks good. So let's scroll down. So next right here, you would fill in the address. Let's scroll down. If you wanted, you could add a discount. So if for this invoice, you want to take 10% off, simply create a 10% off coupon, click on add coupon code and enter in that coupon and it will apply that discount. So you're starting to see where it's a benefit of having the full feature set of Surecart applicable to invoices. And then down here, you can either request a payment and set a due date. Or if this customer is already a customer inside of your SureCard customer area and they've already added a payment method, you can choose this option right here just to auto charge them immediately. So I'll just go ahead and choose request payment and I'll set a due date of a week from now. Although I think with invoices, it's always better to have it be due immediately. You want people to not wait for a due date. Actually, let me practice what I preach and let's go ahead and set today as the due date. How about that? Then we get to the point where I mentioned where you can add the memo and you can add a footer. So let me add that here. Okay, I just filled that out. Now here is our invoice summary. We can change the issue date, the due date right here. And next you'll wanna choose a customer or create a brand new customer. We made it very easy. So when you click on the drop down, you can do a search for your existing customers or just click right here where it says add new give it a name and an email and you are good. And you'll obviously want to probably put in the address as well. So I'm going to go ahead and create this new customer. I've gone ahead and filled it out. I'll click on create. It just takes a second. And here is the new customer. I'll also fill out this right here for the address. All right, I filled that out. And now that we have the customer, we have the address. Right here, you can choose, do you need to tax this order? You have those options all right here. Just another reason why adding invoicing to Surecart makes total sense. All right, this looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this button here on the top right that says create invoice. Now, what you're gonna get is an option to choose if you want an email notification to be sent to your customer to let them know that there is a payable invoice for them. So if you don't want to send the email through Surecart and you rather just send it through your own system, you can toggle this off if you like or leave it on and an email's gonna automatically be sent out. And then you can click on create invoice. And now this invoice has been created. And as you can see here on the right, there's a couple new options. So right here, you can see copy or click through to the payment page. And that's the link that your customer's gonna click on to pay this. Right here, you can click to see the order for fulfillment and things of that nature. And then right here, you can optionally download that PDF receipt if you wanted to, if you wanted to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and before I view it, I wanna show you how to create an order bump or how I created an order bump because this is gonna be a great opportunity for you to make additional revenue off of these invoices that you send out. And as far as I'm aware of, there's no invoice tool on the market that has revenue increasing features such as order bumps and one-click upsells. All of those will apply to invoices as well. So I'll click on products and that's when you get the option for order bumps or upsells. So I'll click on order bumps and this is the order bump that I created. So let me show you the anatomy of this. So first you'll want to give it a name and this is shown prominently as you'll see in a moment. Then you choose the product that's gonna be in this order bump. And then right here, you choose which products need to be inside of the cart in order for this order bump to show. 
And so I added this option here. If someone's adding a, if there's a website project to the invoice, this order bump is going to show. And there's additional conditions that you can add. You can have multiple products that are inside of the invoice for this to show. It's very configurable. Then I added a fixed discount that's auto applied. And right here, I put a description and a custom call to action. And that is how this order bump is created. You can also display multiple order bumps if you desire. So I'm going to now click through to that invoice so that we can see exactly what the customer will see when they view it. All right, here it is, view payment page and it's gonna load it up right here and you can see everything. You can see how it's all completely filled out. You can see how the line items display, the download, the total, and when you scroll down, here's the option for this additional offer for them if they want it. One click and it's immediately added to the invoice for them and everything is uh, added and they can see the discount that they're getting just for taking this offer right here and right now. And lastly, you have this list view of the invoices you've created and it includes the key points of information such as the issue date, the due date, the status. There you have it. That's invoices inside of Shortcart. We know you're going to love it and get a lot of use out of it. We're already using this internally ourselves in some of our businesses, and it's making our workflow so much easier. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got a lot out of it. Give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.